Lights. Camera. Watch. Mark my words. This is going to be the greatest chocolate shop the world has ever seen. Wonka. First initial thoughts. Okay. I'm very excited for this. I can't Why? even lie. Well, I stand Timothy Chalamet. Oh, I think every day. There's nothing <clears throat> I feel like he can't do. There's nothing this man can't do. And also, like... We're getting kooky Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Full on just like weirdo. Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of versions of seeing him. I don't know if you've seen Bones and All. I've seen Bones and All. So you have like, you know, what's that term called where you eat human beings? Um, cannibals. Yeah, yeah, cannibalism. You have Paul Atreides, who's basically a god, messiah in... What's Leader of World's Dune. Dune. Yeah, yeah, in Dunes. And now you have Wonka, which is a very big mantle to uphold seeing the actors and the intellectual property because I grew up on the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory yep. which in my looking back on it it was a pretty dark movie it was basically a bunch of kids going into like a contest and them just getting slaughtered or killed somehow and then one person even when they enter the end is like oh you don't lose you don't lose and then magically it's like you win it was kind of weird because it could have gone weird but anyways this seems so much more brighter much more engaging more uplifting hope and you're getting an origin story which i think everybody loves yeah i think it's supposed to be how he met like the johnny depp have you seen the johnny depp version yes i've seen it there's the issue there's like moments that they show like backstories on it too yeah so the first one i saw when i was a kid was the johnny depp version and then i've seen the gene wilder after that one mm -hmm. but like my first um experience with uh, charlie and the chocolate factory was the Johnny Depp one and that one's like pretty dark and like kind of demented and it does the Tim like Burton. yeah Tim Burton style childhood trauma Willy Wonka and stuff so I'm happy that this is going to be it's supposed to partner with the Gene Wilder one I heard gotcha it's kind of the tone that they're going for uh -huh. and it's going to do like how he met the Oompa Loompas how he did the chocolate factory not my dad was a dentist and wouldn't let me eat Halloween candy and now I'm traumatized kind of side okay, so I love I, that <laughs> I don't remember that portion of it so I'm glad you have that retrospective that you can bring up because in this one it seems like it's him against the world Whereas in, in the Gene Wilder world, he's like, I have everything. Yeah. And it's, who can I give this to? So we'll see what happens. But it, I, it's just very uplifting. And then there's a lot of familiar cast members that you see. Mm -hmm. um, I Mr. love Mr. Beans yes, in it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know his name. I just know him as Mr. Beans Same. in it. Same. But I don't know if it's going to be that successful. I'm excited to see it, but I don't feel like it's going to be a smash success because this man does not have a track record of like great box office draws to me yes that's can you, interesting can you think of one that it's like oh watch that movie just drew in like 200 million dollars well no because most of what he does is like independent projects the first like i'd say big budget like mainstream movie he did was dune and dune wasn't gonna dune pulled a good amount of money and it did good numbers and stuff but it's not like super wide appeal it's like sci-fi nerds are gonna go see dune people who yeah. know who dune is but like all of his other movies are like small and like usually he works more small independent call me by your name bones and all Lady Bird, like i mean little women's big but it's also little women so it's not like and huge. his and it, i don't recall how big his role was in little women yeah well he's like the main guy, like love main, interest. main love interest yeah are you familiar with the little women i saw it it's the one with like the four girls and then tragically one of them gets like scarlet fever and dies and yeah. the other one becomes a very famous writer and then it's like it's like no woman can write some books like this and then she magically becomes published and makes a ton of, but um yeah i just haven't seen him be anything like i i still can't see him as paul atreides but i can see him be willy wonka that's yeah. what i can see i just feel because his stature is not that like intimidating whereas in willy wonka is like a wacky slinky guy there is a 2019 film that's on netflix called the king Okay, I see. have you yes, seen that? Yes, I've seen The King. Um, I can't tell you why, but I've seen The King literally like maybe With nine times. Yes. Every time my one friend comes to visit, we're like, "Well, we gotta watch The King before you leave." I don't know why. That's just like our movie that we put on. He he is a badass in that movie. But that movie also, it's like, can you picture this man as a war leader? Not really, but I think he's great in it. But as a history major, like a lot of kings were not like these staturing, like monumental, huge people. Um, I think one of the few that I can recall, the it's like uh, Alexander, not Alexander the Great, but uh, Peter the Great of like Russia, mm -hmm. and he was like this huge, larger-than-life guy, and it was like really big and powerful and strong. But 
what I really liked about that movie, it's just like it was a man to man duel at the end. Yeah. Where I feel like that's what countries should really do. If you have real beef with people, your elected fe- person versus my elected person, let's save a bunch of people from dying. Or I always have this idea it's like if you're going to start war, the people that are sending, starting the war, mm-hmm. all of their kids have to be in the front lines. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but we've we've gone really far. really really <laughs> far out. But but that being said, like I can see, I saw some backlash when he was like cast originally. Why? Why was he like? Because people were like, I don't buy him as Willy Wonka. But I also don't think when like the rumors of him being cast and stuff came out, I don't think people realized it was a prequel because they were like, he's not old enough to play Willy Wonka. It's like, gotcha. well, no shit, this is supposed to be him. Or as like a kid. it'll be a re- reboot. Yeah. So, um, I heard something about like him excited to take this role because I think it's a musical. And can he sing? He can sing, and he did like tap for like growing up and stuff. And he was like, I was kind of looking for a reason to like dust off the shoes. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm super, super excited because he can pull off comedy. And this is what I always remember his comedy chops. Have you ever seen that skit with SNL where he's with Pete Davidson and they're like little rappers? I'm like, yeah, this is the yeet. And I just like that. Just he. There's a part where he's like. He can't even take it seriously. He starts laughing. And that's... I feel like he's, like, a real dude. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I feel like he's Big a... Big bro de- energy from Timmy. Yeah, I feel like you can hang out with them. Oh, he, he also watched this other movie that he was a drug dealer or his brother was a drug dealer. And it was in, like, New Jersey and there was this giant storm that happened. Like, it, it was, Hot like... summer night? Yes. He was really good in that, too. He's really good in everything. I've yeah. yet to see... Have you seen Beautiful Boy with him and Steve Carell, where he no. plays a drug addict? No, I've not seen him. But Great the, I, performance. I, I just feel like there isn't a role that he can't be placed in yeah. that he won't be good. You know what I was hoping, and this is a big dream role for me for him to do, and you might laugh at it, is to be Wolverine. That would be fucking sick. You know why? He has the hair. I don't know if he has the facial hair, because I haven't really seen him with like facial hair and scruff like that. But the Wolverine comic book character itself is a very short guy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not this beautiful Australian Hugh Jackman who's like 6'2 and he yoked and has like abs galore. <laughs> but he's supposed to be like this small dude that just wants to like, he's, like, he's the underdog. And so I don't know if you've known if you've ever seen like the X Men cartoons on Fox. But no. they're bringing him back on the, um, what's it called, on Disney Plus, on like X Men, like 97 or something like that. But here's to um, Timothy. Don't here's know. to Timothy. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm super excited for this movie. It's also a Timothy Chalamet Double Winter. Oh, Dune why? is coming out and Wonka go. is coming out. So, what do you think this movie is going to box office? Five hundred million. Yeah. <laughs> Pull in Timothy Chalamet. He's gonna pull the people in. I don't think he's gonna be able to have that pool. I just feel like there's a level of fatigue mm-hmm. on characters, not actors. But I think this will probably clear three hundred million. I, for me, when I always think about the success of movies, I want to know how much they spent on the budget. Yeah. And if they didn't spend a lot on the budget, which I look back, I don't think they spent a lot of money on all of his movies. So if there's a great return, mm-hmm. and if he hits like that $200, $300 million number, I think it'll be a fantastic success, and then they can continue on the story. But I don't see this trailer or this movie creating more and more movies to come. We'll see. Time will tell. We'll see. I don't, I don't know if they do like multiple Wonka movies, if that's what you're saying. I think this is going to be a one-off. One-off? Yeah. Until the Warner, prequel. Until Warner Brothers are like, look, we made $400 million. It cost $100 million. Timmy, we need you, bro. Well, I mean, no guarantee he'd say yes, but he might. He'd just be like, yo, just do this one. I'll call Apple up. That commercial will become a reality. You'll get your own show, TV, whatever documentary you want. You've seen Apple TV? Those Apple commercials are incredible. I mean, they really know what they're doing. Yeah. I feel like that... That, that commercial They made itself. three of them. Did you watch all three? They're no. all just as ridiculous. No, I just watched one of them. I didn't know there was a trilogy. <laughs> well, I think they did one, and then because it got such like a big uh, big response, they were like, hey, do a couple more for us. It was hilarious. They're I just really love that like everybody and their mom has like this show, and he's like, dude, I'm the shit. Apple, like, call I'm, me. <laughs> like, I'm the shit. I love it. I love it. I love Timothy Chalamet. I'm super excited for Wonka. Well, here's to Timothy Chalamet and his uh, Winter of Two or whatever you called it. Yeah. It's a, it's winter, Timothy Chalamet, double feature. Two big box office movies. Dune, Good. Wonka. Good night. Good night.